The report was written. It said no collusion. The report was written. And the Attorney General, based on the report, was easily able to find there was no obstruction. Uh, there's no nothing. They're wasting their time. Uh, and Robert Mueller, I know he's conflicted. He had a lot. There's a lot of conflicts that he's got, including the fact that his best friend is Comey. But he's got conflicts with me, too. He's got big conflicts with me. As you know, he wanted the job of the FBI director. He didn't get it. And we had a business uh, relationship where I said no. And uh, I would say that he wasn't happy. Then all of a sudden, he gets this position. But you know what? He still ruled, and I respect him for it. He still ruled. No collusion, no obstruction. And uh, this thing should have ended a long time ago. This has been going on for two and a half years. And we're never going to allow this to happen to another president again, because most of them wouldn't be able to take it. Let's talk about Robert Mueller as we await this testimony that's going to be historic before the House Judiciary Committee and the House Intelligence Committee on Wednesday. A.B., um, he's bracing sort of with his old lines about Robert Mueller as he tries to undercut and certainly tell his supporters, don't listen to anything that you hear, even though we think the, that Mueller will stick to testimony specifically about the report. Right. Well, the Republicans on the committees, um, both of them, will be attacking uh, the special counsel um, on on the uh, the origins and the beginning and the really the credibility and legitimacy of of the investigation. It's the investigate the investigators, and so they intend to spend a lot of time talking about Peter Strzok and Lisa Page, who we all know had a lot of animosity towards the president, and we saw that in their text chains, and they're go they're going to spend their time talking about that at the same time defending the report's findings, which are that there was not enough activity that led to the threshold that meets um, the legal definition of conspiracy, nor was there a finding on obstruction. So they're going to sort of attack the messenger, but be okay with the findings, and that's their position. The president's going to continue to say no collusion uh, and no obstruction, but at the same time bash Mueller in these two ways that he mentioned, which is, one, in the Mueller report, the special counsel addresses the fact that he was once a member of a Trump golf club and that even his own staff told him that was a non-conflict and was Steve ridiculous. Steve Bannon said it was ridiculous. And it doesn't stand up. So as a real conflict. And the second thing is that he did not beg for a job as the FBI director. And I think the Democrats actually might ask him that um, in, in their questioning. Which would be very interesting. So, Laura, looking... I mean, the president, it did seem, he just sort of put out his normal lines quickly about Robert Mueller. Uh, I, it makes me wonder if he thinks, and certainly this may be the case, that people already have their opinions about what is going to happen. So he's just sort of repeated his line and then he moved on to the next thing uh, about Robert Mueller. Is it going to make a difference? Should the president be worried that this hearing is going to do anything to damage him further? Well, the president knows full well the power of television and how magical it can transform otherwise boring 400-page documents into something that's lifelike and has a life of its own. He's, a, he's saying he's not going to watch it. I'm not buying that for a second. He'll be watching with popcorn. We all will be. Well, maybe not the popcorn. We'll be watching it, and the president will be, too. But more importantly here, he's attempting to have his way, have, it, have his cake and eat it, too. It cannot be that Robert Mueller is discredited and still have his findings be appropriate. It cannot be that, that Robert Mueller um, has, has it out for the president of the United States and also has this objective viewpoint with respect to obstruction and collusion. So his attempt to have essentially his cake and eat it too is on full display and shows that he actually is worried about the ability of Robert Mueller to bring to life the notion of that one question of, um, but for that OLC opinion, would you have been able or would you have sought the indictment of the president of the United States? Did you hand off to Congress the role of the process you spoke of about impeachment? And he can deflate what you're talking about, A.B., in this question of this whole genesis. What role did the Steele dossier play in this entire thing? And all the things that Trump has been focused on about Mueller and why it discredits him, he will be able to talk about that and still be in line with the statement of, I'm not going to go outside of the role of the report of what I said. That would still be game. Laura Coates, thank you so much. Susan Glasser, A.B. Stoddard, Abby Phillip, really appreciate your insights.